Hi there, welcome here to this leak where today we're talking about training, specifically our online training and more specifically our C1 introduction to distilling course. Now C1 introduction to distilling as the name implies is a foundation level course. It's a course that uh, explains to you all the basics of distilling. Uh, but not just distillation, the, the whole distillation process, which consists out of three main steps. Fermentation, which can also include starch conversion in the case of grain or um, starch containing raw materials like potatoes. That's followed by distillation, where we actually do our distillation. We separate out the alcohol, flavor, um, and aroma of compounds, um, unwanted compounds like the heads, that's covered in distillation and then spirit enhancement. And the spirit enhancement is all those techniques um, that you need to know how to do after you've distilled the spirits. Things like dilution, airing and evaporation, infusion, mouthfeel enhancement, spirit transformation and so on and so forth. That's all covered in spirit enhancement. In addition to these three main topics, fermentation, distillation, and spirit enhancement. We also look at things like safety during distillation, the history of distillation. We look at the different spirit categories and raw materials. What makes a moonshine a moonshine? Uh, what's the difference between whiskey, whiskey, and bourbon? Uh, the different categories of rum and so forth. Kind of a broad overview of all the different spirit categories out there. And then specifically for our South African students, we look at legal, uh, um, legal aspects of distilling. Specifically legal home distilling. How do you legally distill at home in South Africa? What do you need to do? Because in South Africa, you can't just distill at home, uh, build yourself a still and start distilling, that would be breaking the law, uh, breaking the South African Liquor Act as well as the Excise Act. You need a legal still, you need to have a registered still, you need to keep records of your activities and so on and so forth. Now this sounds like a lot of schlep, but hey, it's better than countries like the USA and so forth where home distilling is completely illegal. There is no legal way to distill at home. So we do have a mechanism to legally distill at home, so you need to know how to do that. And it's better to do it um, the legal way than try to uh, take a chance and get busted for doing it illegally because there's major fines and penalties that can apply if you are caught distilling illegally. But we'll handle that in the course and there's also a video here on our YouTube channel uh, that explains legal home distilling in South Africa to you very short in a very short uh, little video. Now the C1 introduction to distilling course is a prerequisite course for most of our other courses. W1 fruit based spirits, W2 grain based spirits, W5 hybrids raw material spirits, all of them require you to do C1 first before you can um, do that uh, w, w course. Uh, the reason for that is that we take this foundation information of the C1 introduction to the distilling course and we build on that for the unique raw materials. So in W1, we add on to the C1 introduction to distilling information by teaching you everything you need to know how to work with fruit and the additional master principle of fractional distillation. In the W2 course, we take the C1 foundation in information and we build on that, teaching you the master principles of starch conversion as well as multiple distillations and high reflux distillations for vodka production. In W5, we take the master principle or the foundation principles from C1 and we build on that, adding the master principles of working with high bricks raw material uh, uh, high bricks raw materials like molasses honey and syrups and so forth how to do the sugar calculations and also then how fractional distillation applies to a rum based product or molasses based product w4 is our gin course our infused spirit courts now C1 is not a prerequisite for W4. You do not have to do C1 before you're allowed to do W4 because infusion, making of gin, making of spiced rum and so forth, that infusion process, the master principles we teach in W4 has nothing to do with fermentation and distillation. It actually falls under spirit enhancement, but you don't need the information from C1 in order to understand W4. So it is not a prerequisite, but it is recommended that you do C1 before you do W4. The reason for that is just that it gives you a better understanding of the uh, terminology at the very least, but also the process and the grand scheme of things. Where does this infused spirit fall into the greater spirit world? And that's why we do recommend that you do C1 before you do W4, but again, it is not a prerequisite. In addition, 
our C10 comprehensive distilling course, you do not need to do C1 prior to doing C10 because C1 already forms part of the C10 course. So those are the two courses that you don't need it for. Our non-spirits related courses, W12, which is our fruit spirits course, E1, which is our essential oil course, Y1, which is our yeast foundation course, they also do not require C1 as a prerequisite. It is only our W courses, for W1, W2, and W5, as well as later on when, when it comes available, W6 of um, agave spirit courses, our tequila and mezcal course, they, only those courses will require, do require C1 as a prerequisite. So, I hope this makes it... Uh, Clar clarifies it a little bit and lets you know um, what to expect from the C1 course and it is a highly recommended course. It is a very very cost of, um, or affordable course and you get a lot of bang for your buck if I can put it like that. The course is about between 11 and 13 hours long. The textbook is over 400 pages uh, so it is a very very comprehensive course with a lot of information that's given to you for a very very affordable price. So hopefully we'll see you soon attending our C1 Introduction to Distilling course.